Today we will do a review on the Color Me Flawless in a Flash Automatic Foundation Applicator Pro Edition. And this is how the device looks like. This is the Color Me Flawless in a Flash Automatic Foundation Applicator. Hello friends, so this is my face without any foundation on. I just have my primer on my face right now. And the primer that I use on my face is this Prime Primer from Vanilla Co. This is the matte formula. And I think we're ready to test out this applicator. This is how the packaging looks like. It comes in this fancy looking box. Okay, and then kapag binuksan mo yung dito sa harap, makikita mo kagad, ayan na yung applicator. On this side of the box, makikita nyo kung ano yung inclusive dun sa packaging. Meron tayo ng actual na device at saka dalawang sponges. On this side naman ng box, mababasa ninyo yung brief description about the device. Dito may picture ng before and after. And balik tayo sa harap, ito yung model na nag emo So nakita ko kagad dito yung claims niya. Sabi niya magpo-provide daw siya ng... 8 hours superior coverage. Papalitan niya ang ating mga kamay. A foundation brush, a beauty blender, and a powder brush sa pag-apply ng ating fez. Okay? So, all these four will now be in just one single device. And sabi, this is an all-in-one sonic applicator. I need a brief instruction on how to use the device. Buksan na natin siya. Ano na ba itsura nito? Okay. Ano siyang manual or card? Tapos, ito na yung actual device. Ay, akala ko nung una. Siyong alak. Akala ko dito mo ilalagay yung product. Tapos parang plancha siya. Yun pala. Dahil nakakita ko ng ganito, I would assume na takip to. O, ayun. Takip nga siya. Here's a close-up of what the device looks like. Very sleek in design. Tapos, pag tinanggal mo to, I think dito mo pwedeng palitan yung battery niya. Yung battery na ginagamit niya is yung parang sa relo. Yung bilog. Tapos, ganito yung itsura nung takip. Ayan. Pansin ko na parang magkaiba ata yung sponge na nakalagay na dito sa device. At saka yung sponge na came separately. Makikita nyo, ba? Ito yung fluffy. Ito yung medyo flat. I believe the fluffier one is for powder and this, uh, the thinner version or yung mas manipis for liquid foundation. So now, tatanggalin na natin tong uh, strip na to para gumana na yung battery. Ito lang yung power button. Let's see. It's not working! Sobra excited pa naman ako tas hindi siya gumagana. Anong kalokohan to? Bakit? Ayan, may pagkasyong nga lang ako. Dapat pala nagkiklik. O, oh, kasi nga ba nung kuko ko, hindi ko siya mapres ng maayos. Anyway, sabi, this gives off 15,000 pulses that mimics 15,000 fingers tapping on your skin. This is the foundation that I chose for this demo. Ito yung Maybelline Dream Velvet Foundation. Let me know down in the comment section kung gusto nyo gumawa ako ng separate uh, review on this foundation. Okay? Now, let's try to turn it on. Whoa! Ayan na. Nagbabaybait na siya. Okay, let's see. Kung may difference ba. Oh, I like it! I like it! Ay, grabe! Ang saya namang... Okay. Grabe, nakakatawa naman to. And here is an interesting thing about the applicator. Hindi niya ina-absorb yung foundation. It's just sitting right on top. Okay, let's try to even things out. Let's hang on. To be honest, ang sarap ng feeling niya para mong minamasahi yung foundation sa mukha mo. Tingnan natin kung same ba yung effect kapag ginamitan natin ng brush. Okay, let's see. Immediately nakita nyo may streak marks kagad. Although, pwede naman natin siya i-blend out later. Pero napansin ko nung in-apply ko yung foundation on this side, ay even application siya kagad. Oh, and there's a difference. Ito yung ginamita ko ng brush. Ito yung gamit yung ating Color Me applicator. There's a very subtle difference. Pero pag ikaw talaga ang nag-a-apply ng foundation, mararamdaman mo eh. 
na ang laki ng diferensya nung dito, na ang bilis lang, ganun lang, kaysa dito na you're, you kept working on it. Ganyan. So, ngayon, i-apply ko lang yung product all over my face using the same applicator. The only downside, I think, would be yung size niya. Kasi, lalo dito sa mga ganito, o, oh, mga sulok-sulok na mukha, medyo mahirap mag-apply ng foundation. Pero let's see kung kakayanin ba. Let's see if it can blend out my concealer. Tatanggalin nyo na siya. Ayan, ganun lang. Palitan natin ng head yung para sa powder. I have here my MAC Studio Fix Plus uh, Powder Foundation. And I'm just gonna turn this on. And i-dip ko lang siya dito. To get a little bit of that product. Ayan, let's see kung okay din ba yung application niya. Although it may seem as if it is cakey on camera. But trust me. For special locations. Yung ganyan kakiking ganyan ang kailangan para tumagal ang makeup. Hala ka, ang galing oh. Uh, <laughs> you know what? I like the powder applicator better than the liquid one. Mas gusto ko yung eto, yung pang powder. Tinan nga natin kung okay siya pang bake under eyes. Ang sarap. Let's see. Oh, I think this will lessen the baking time of your under eyes. This is how it looks like with just one layer of that foundation. Sobrang full coverage ang effect. Mm, I like it. Now, I'm going to just finish my makeup. Add a little bit of bronzer, blush, highlight, and let's see kung gano ba kabongga ite. Ano mo ba sa okay? Glossy or matte? Mm, let's go with glossy. But the makeup is done. This is how it looks like. And boy! Oh boy! Grabe talaga. nag enjoy ako sa finish nito. Teka, medyo wash out lang ng konti. Bawasan nga natin. Ayan. Ayan, guys. Fuck. I am so in love with this lip gloss. By the way, all the products that I use on my face down in the description box. Make sure that you guys check that out. Let's talk about my final thoughts about this product. First of all, this sells for 3,283 on sephora.ph. If you want to get your hands on this, the link is down in the description. You can just shop directly at that link. Between a beauty blender and a brush, I would always go for the beauty blender. But in this video, I opted to show you guys how the foundation applies using a brush. Between the beauty blender and this one, if money is not an issue, I'm gonna go for this one. Kasi, mas okay talaga yung pag build up ng product dun sa akin mukha and mas sobrang full coverage to pag nag-apply. Unlike the beauty blender, sometimes kasi na-absorb niya rin yung foundation na ina-apply mo sa mukha mo. But, since money is always an issue in this channel, <laughs> between yung 3,000 at saka yung 1,000, I'm gonna have to say, na pwede na rin siguro to kasi with the beauty blender, mas magagawa mo na i-blend out yung contour, pwede ka mag-bake, pwede ka mag-highlight using the same applicator. Unlike dito naman, you really have to change yung ulo niya every single time na magpapalit ka ng formulation ng product sa mukha mo. Pero kung may pambili naman kayo ng 3,000 peso worth ng applicator, bakit hindi? Lalo na if you're a freelance makeup artist or you're a professional makeup artist, I believe na malaki matutulong nito sa pagpapaganda sa inyong mga clients. Iba talaga ang feel. Very, very light lang talaga. Tapos sobrang high, full coverage ang dating ng application ng aking foundation. As you can see right now on my face.
I hope you guys find this review very helpful. If you did, make sure to thumbs up. Gusto nyo bang gumawa pa ako ng maraming reviews sa channel ko? Very rare kasi ako gumagawa ng mga reviews. Hindi kasi ako magaling mag-review ng mga bagay. And as much as possible, gusto ko talaga na mag-share ng mga products na, alam nyo yun, tried and tested ko na pag gumawa ako ng mga makeup tutorials. Anyway, kung may mga gusto pa kayong products na gusto nyo i-review natin dito, make sure to type it down in the comment section. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media accounts. That is Chris Lumagi on Snapchat and Instagram. And I will see you next time!